Hello, I'm Su. On today, I just want to show you uh, how to use a software that called uh, Arduino Commander, uh, which one can connect a Arduino and a Android path uh, with uh, via uh, Ethernet sheet or Bluetooth or a USB, I think. So I, I today I just want to use a, the Wi-Fi shield to connect the two things, and uh, firstly you you can just vis visit this website, and I think that is the official site of the software, and uh, you can find a link here. That's the link to the GitHub, uh, where you can find uh, the important uh, open source code of of this program I think and uh, if you visit it you can find the code site and uh, here are two files and uh, um, I've tried to install this uh, Fermata library but this library uh, have have no meaning I mean and for example, I'm using um, this Arduino IDE 1.0.2. That means there is some called Fermata library. You do not have to install it, uh, but you have to install these examples. Ethernet Fermata Shield. You should install this one. Uh, since I have installed, I do not need to, but you do not, you should download. And the other things, there is another library that me called Ethernet Sheet W5100, and that is uh, really important. And perhaps uh, someone of you use the other uh, Ethernet Shield, uh, you, you can just uh, install this one. But uh, since I, I only use this one, I just uh, think that is more important. And uh, how to install it? Perhaps some of you do not know that. Let's just install it uh, where your Arduino uh, root folder is. That means for me, that is from my document, that is Chinese, document, my document, Arduino, libraries, and for example, there is, there are two libraries that I have installed, and uh, then then that is software. Software you can open this download uh, download downloaded file. I mean this one, and just upload it. If you do not, uh, if you just upload it, you can open your serial monitor like this, and that will feedback uh, what is the static IP ad address and how is the situation, and that's about it. That's the software side, and the hardware side is connect your. Arduino with a Wi-Fi shield, this one, and you can connect it the shield via NAS cable to an Wi-Fi router, and connect your computer or some power to your Arduino that entered it. And uh, for this demonstration, I just uh, connect uh, pin, pin, I think, pin 6, pin 7, and pin 9 to 3 LED, but not all of them. <laughs> and open up your Android pad. I mean, this one for me. And you can find this logo. And... And there are so many possibility. You can just uh, uh, connect your Android pad with Ethernet shield, uh, 
uh, your Android with Bluetooth or Internet Shield or USB device or USB accessory. I'm do not sure what mean the other three, but I use this one, Ethernet Shield. And if you are new, you can add host. That means you can write down what the IP address and port of your uh, Ethernet Shield. For example, I have had uh, edited it, so I do not have to do it and not another one and uh, also a very important thing is you, you, you should use point but not comma to to divide the four number and since we have had I just connect it if you have succeeded to connect the two devices you can see the the Arduino is a colorish uh, Arduino uh, here and uh, the pin means the pin that of the Arduino. So since we have connected these pins, I think this is oh pin five, pin seven, and pin nine. That means we can just. Uh, um, uh, change the state of the three pins. For example, we just take a try with pin 5. Pin 5 and we just want to make it as a digital out and we can take it on. This is Vida Chinese. And okay. So I think that works. And there is even a small animation there. I mean, and we change the mode of pin seven, perhaps take it on, and pin nine, perhaps also on. So pretty good, pretty good. And as everyone know, there is a PWM function of these board I just uh, to show you if these functions worked all also that is means for example there is analog output um, PWM and we can change it a little bit darker and that, that is that is n not very Precise, I mean, not very. I'm bold. That is different. And I just try to to vote. That works. And if I vote, not very previously. Uh, yeah something like this so that is that is and something that I want to share with you is you you'd better do not add some uh, SD card in it perhaps this this uh, standard uh, format Ethernet is not very uh, compatible with this SD things so do not use it mm. uh, if you do perhaps your IP address will not correct I mean for me that is uh, that is uh, null 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 and I think that must be something wrong with this SD card and do not uh, install this this uh, firmata library since you you have had for example and if you try your things you can see example uh, formata that means you have had these libraries and that's it I think you have got the idea if you still have some problems I'd like to answer you thank you